Hi, we're here with John Amen from Empire Robotics. And Empire has kind of an interesting gripper that they are illustrating with a Pong playing robot. John, tell us a little bit about the gripper technology that um, you use to do this. Sure, so we make uh, VersaBall. It's a flexible robotic gripper, and it works in a really unique way. It's got some granular material inside of a flexible balloon membrane, and then we control the air pressure inside, so we can put air into the gripper and make it very soft, and then we can pull the air out and it gets very hard. So what happens is, when it's soft, we push it against an object, deforms and takes the shape of the object, when we pull out the air, it gets really hard and grips the object. It allows us to move objects that are different shapes, different sizes, different levels of fragility. How would you characterize the degree of control you can exercise over the air pressure? Uh, we really only have two uh, states that we try to take advantage of. One is where we try to make it very soft, one where we try to make it uh, really hard. But we do have some access to other levels of uh, air control than that, and that's, that's a little bit what we're exhibiting today in our demo. Can you program the air pressure, or is it dynamic? Will it respond to what it's, it's squeezing, or uh, how does that work? Yeah, the gripper responds passively to the object that you're trying to grip. So as it contacts the object, it deforms and takes the shape of the object. So that allows it to pick up objects that have shapes that it, it's never seen before. It can pick up objects that might be in a weird orientation that it's not expecting. Uh, really, that passive confirmation gives you a lot of flexibility in the gripping. Great. Um, you're picking up ping pong balls now, but um, what other objects does this come in handy for? Sure, lots of different objects. Uh, primarily, we're looking at things that are in industrial manufacturing automation, so people who are making things, a lot of consumer products uh, that their customers are trying to handle, a lot of parts for automotive, the automotive industry. Um, those kinds of small, a lot of plastic and metal parts, those are where we really do the best. Uh, the demo you have cooked up for us is a, uh, a, a beer pong playing robot. Tell us a little bit about that. So it's, yeah, it's just a fun demo to get people here to the booth at CES. Uh, what we do is we pick up a ping pong ball and then instead of just putting the ball back down, we release it forcibly so that it shoots across the table. And we can tune it to be pretty accurate. It's won uh, 35 out of 40 games today, so uh, we're doing pretty well. To what degree does that tuning involve the, uh, the gripper? Yeah, so we tune uh, the the position that we shoot from, and we tune the air pressure so we can shoot far or shorter and left and right back, front and back. John, that, um, that I'm in awe of your um, beer pong playing robot. I thought I was pretty good, but um, that thing beats me. Great, thanks. Uh, we'll be here all week playing against people who are coming out to CES, and uh, you can visit our website at empirebox.com to learn more about what we do. Great, thank you. Thank you.